everybody. Uh, this is Josh here again with Hockey Entertainment. Just wanted to uh, know we are now on the ninth part of our Shadow of the Colossus series. Let's play Shadow of the Colossus. And tonight's plan is to fight the ninth Colossus, codenamed Bassaran, or also a developer nicknamed the Turtle. Uh, just information, just kind of interesting facts. Um, the height of this uh, beast is 75 feet high with a length of 160 feet length wise. So, what we're going to do again, as we always do, is we're going to call our girl here, as you see there. And we're going to go outside, and we're going to figure out where this colossi is. I believe, if I remember correctly, it's behind the temple, but then again, I may be wrong. We'll see pretty quickly here. Aha, uh -huh. again. All right. Right there. Again, assuming this is north, that will be to the east. I imagine the southeast, more than likely. Interestingly yeah. enough, this is actually going to be a battle where we will actually need our horse for the entirety of the uh, battle, because the turtle type of um, colossi that we're facing here tonight will be one that we will have to run around and uh, battle. So, again, interesting battle, but uh, let's just yeah. see what happens. Trick being, of course, here is to find the colossi first. So, the best way I remember it is, as you see, this cloud here in the distance. Uh, that cloud over there, we will need to head towards that. So we will need to find a land bridge to cross, which I believe we can cross over here. Let's just go this way. And again, you may hear the clicking of my controller. Sorry about that. This old controller is starting to give out a little bit. But again, let's go and head this way and see if we can get to that bridge there. And if we cannot, I believe there's another bridge we can cross as well. So again, I do appreciate you guys joining me tonight, and gals as well, uh, joining me for this stream. Uh, make sure to like this video, as well as comment below, and subscribe to the channel too. I guess this is not the way we're going yeah. to go, so we will go another yeah. way instead. Yeah. Yeah. Again, my mistake, but let's just see what yeah. we can't do here. Cross here. Yeah. I believe we can cross this other land bridge across yeah. the way, as we did the last time. Again, surprisingly, I don't remember too much about this colossi, even given that I have beaten this game twice. It's something that kind of eludes me, surprisingly so. And so again, we will just uh, see what we can do to get across to that land mass over there. So let's see if we can find a land bridge to cross. My assumption yeah. would be to go across that canyon again, but again, that's my assumption, so let's just see if my assumption is correct. <laughs> so I don't want to go back to the body of another Colossus, but ah, again, it can't hurt if I do it again though either. Yeah, there is a land bridge right there. We can cross. Yes, alright. Yeah! Now, I don't yeah. need you to yeah. focus. Not that way. Yeah! And turn this way, alright. Now, I believe we are on track to go head towards the developer nicknamed Turtle Colossi. Again, it is quite gigantic. Um, it's the use of guys as well. Again, I don't want to spoil too much, so you all will see as we go across where how this runs. We want to head to that smog filled cloud. The problem we're going to run into, though, is that we're not going to be able to see yeah. in that yeah. smog filled cloud, so we're going to have to kind of wander around a little bit. I hence our name, of course, being Wander, the main character's name in this game. Uh, we will see if we can find. The turtle colossi. And again, as we keep going. Kind of interesting little tidbits about this boss here as well. Alright, let's see. Again, we need to go to the left here. Yeah. Hopefully, Argo doesn't jump off. I bet he won't. And he does not. So we will need to take yeah. a long yeah. way around. Yeah. Is all right. That's no problem. No risk to find the boss. And hunker down. 
on, man. Again, let's just make sure. We are heading this right direction. As soon as we hit this smog, we're not going to be able to fog. I guess you'd call it. We're not going to be able to see our way through. Oh, wow. I'd forgotten about those wind... Yeah. Um, sandstorms or sand tornadoes, I guess you would call them. I know a difference with this Colossi is it actually does roar for the entirety of the battle, whereas other ones usually may have some silence attributed to them. Yeah. Uh, this roars yeah. throughout the entirety of this battle, so it should be pretty aggressive, actually. Um, and the means to take this out is not going to be normal, so we will have quite the time finding this Colossi, but uh, we'll have a good time as well. Actually, to correct myself, those are geysers. Those are not um, tornadoes, yeah. as I had said. I have to correct myself. Those are actually water geysers coming out, which I actually will play a pivotal role in the battle with this colossi. Now, if, I remember, if I remember correctly, I think we run across this ca uh, canyon wall here, and we should run across a cave, which then our colossi should appear from. So not to the west and it must be to the east so we will try the other way as well again Argo is very important here because um, Argo will actually be able to help aggro the boss so that will help as well if I remember correctly the cave is to the far east end looks like there's a cave there let's go inside and see what we can find ah And again, introducing, ladies and gentlemen, Basaron, the turtle type of Colossi. As you can see, the turtle shell there. We're going to have to flip. Now, here's the yeah. This yeah. thing will actually throw missiles at us. Pretty creepy. Just were able to dodge those. Scarily enough. Yeah! They do pretty decent damage to the player, so the idea is to get this Colossi to come over. Yeah. Whoa. This uh, geyser. Knock itself out. Oops. Got a little too. Uh, oh no. Now the point is, here's the kick that you need to keep the Colossi yeah. busy. on this geyser. That is the hard part. Being able to keep track of the Colossi. As it keeps in Again, it's really not that difficult. It's more of just yeah. keeping track of it. Keeping track of it. Now we need to circle it. And the point of this... Ah. See those green things? We need to keep the Colossi busy. <laughs> or else it is taken. Make that geyser. Not dangerously enough. I usually try to go underneath the Colossi to get a good shot of it. Aiming for the feet is not the finest thing in the world to do. It's all a earlier. There's one. And two. <coughs> now, we need to climb on its underbelly. Hold and pray for the best. And I should have went to the other side, of course. Gigantic, but it's hard to keep track of. Oh no. You can see the 
repair there. Again, make sure to make a note. Drop this playthrough. We're going to stab this thing on the top of its head. So that in itself will be the challenge. You know, on the back of the shell when the colossi wakes back up. Or I should say wakes back up, wakes back over. Very easy to fall on this. So you need to be careful. As we approach the back of the Colossi, we need to be careful because any movement can make us fly at any time. As you see there, we'll try to uh, press. Be able to hold on to something. It does know it's on, our, on its back. So again, gotta make sure. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, and once we get on the head, it's gonna be even worse. Once you pretty much get up here, it's actually pretty easy. It's not too bad. But it's merely the idea of getting up here that I um, actually did pretty well. Because the first time I did this, it took me a couple of tries to run through. Um, so granted, you know, I'm a little bit older now, a little bit wiser, more experienced, but uh, I'd actually forgotten this trick here. I'd run around and couldn't figure out what to do for a while, and I just happened to remember running through um, and the uh, turtle jumped on the geyser accidentally, so again, I'm gonna kill this quick. We're about to run out of uh, stamina, and I prefer not to be thrown off. One more hit should do it. And come on, wonder. And a final stab, and we have now bested the beast, the colossi known as the developer nicknamed Turtle, Basaron the Ninth Colossus. Lurker of the Cave Trophy, as we pop there, we have soundly defeated this boss. Again, not as bad as I expected. I kind of felt it was more aggressive the last time, but again, time and experience usually changes perceptions, and hindsight being 2020 as well. And again, the tendrils have attacked us. Now the plan tonight, just so you know, is to try to get through the 10th, 11th, and 12th Colossi, so then tomorrow we will only have four more to defeat. So I may take a break here or there in between, but we will make sure to finish this video, or this series. Then there goes the ninth effigy to the Colossi. As we saw, we have more and more shadows around us. And now the Dormant will give us our next marching orders to the tenth Colossi. And so you know, the next colossi is named Dirge, or the developer name Naga, which also um, makes me think of Nagini from Harry Potter's series. Um, it is a serpentine colossus uh, moving through the sand of the desert. So, again. Like I said, we have nine down, and we have, let's see, two, seven more to go. 
So again, thank you for joining me tonight. I should have 10, 11, and 12 up later this evening. Uh, again, make sure to like this video, comment below, any questions, feedback, anything like that. I do appreciate it. As well as make sure to subscribe, and I will chat with you guys later this evening. Thanks again.